live our best life here today We're making all our dreams come true Why don't you come along with me? Cause I love spending time with you With you, with you Spending time with you Hey dreamers, it's me, Tarifa the Dreamer Today's video we're talking about dealing with failure So I would say that failure is relative because success is relative. The definition for success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. And the definition for failure is the lack of success. Sometimes we set out to achieve things and we achieve them. And then sometimes we set out to achieve things and we don't. And life turns out to be different in better ways sometimes. So I feel like success and failure are relative and it's unfair to assess our lives on that because we don't know nothing. Life is unpredictable and we never know what is going to happen and we never know the whole truth. As they say, hindsight is 2020. For millennials or Gen Z, I'm Gen Z, Success means something different to us. I feel like we have been breaking down barriers and Correcting the system and that comes with a great pressure Many of us deal with the fear of failure feeling as though if we don't achieve the things that we set out for ourselves or our community or our society that we are more than nothing and we're just big failures, you know? And I think that we have such a hard time dealing with failure because we feel like it's on us to be and make the change that we want to see, break the generational curses and like correct the entire system that has been messed up for as long as we have known. Now, people are way more aware of their power and they're taking their wealth and their lives into their own hands. It's been very evident that these later generations have been pushing the envelope like never before. And it feels like the age of entrepreneurship because everyone is an entrepreneur, everyone's like doing their stuff for themselves. Yeah, taking their wealth into their own hands. Especially my black people and I love to see it. A lot of us are feeling our way through the dark because some of the things that we want to accomplish have never been done before or we have been told it's impossible for us to accomplish. And now we have proven to ourselves that not only is it possible, but we can achieve it for ourselves and we all can do it. And that's where support and supporting each other comes in. For me and for a lot of people, I know that sometimes you know exactly what it is you want to do with your life you know exactly what your dreams are and you just don't know how to make it happen or you have a general idea of the life that you want but you don't know how to get from point a to point b and sometimes it feels as though your dreams are too big especially when you see other people working just as hard as you or harder than you are not really reaching where they want to go or taking a very very long time to get there sometimes that's really discouraging but we can't let failure or the fear of failure stop us from continuing to push further and do what we can with what we have I personally have a lot of big dreams and when I say big dreams I mean huge dreams and I have always been instilled with this confidence that I am capable of doing anything and I can achieve everything and on top of that I have this perfectionism I am a perfectionist and so the pressure that comes with everyone wanting you to be great Everyone knowing that you can be great and then knowing on top of yourself that you want to be great. Like, I want to be great. I'm not for everybody else. But I want to be great and I want to achieve my goals badly for me. For me, and I want it bad enough for everyone. I know a lot of us feel like that. And when people continuously ask us, about our goals and what we're doing and what changes we have made and, and all these questions and wanting updates it's so frustrating and sometimes i just want to screw my people back up back up because i don't know i don't have the answers i don't have the answers for myself and i can't take on people constantly asking me asking me asking me like 
How about we all get some popcorn and sit down and just see? See what happens. I am going to be happy and I am going to be successful. You just trust in whatever I choose to do is going to be the best thing for me. I kind of feel bad telling people to back up and to back up because I know it comes from a place of care. I know it's because they want what's best for me but sometimes you don't know what's best for a person you just think you know what they're good at and what may be good for them but you should give people the space to figure it out on their own and support whatever it is that they do without pressuring people like ease people up if you don't know what i mean watch my things you need to say part three i explain it to you the whole idea with all the stress and anxiety of wanting to be successful and the fear of failure is by meditating, by spending a lot of time by myself. Like when people are starting to pressure me, I take myself out of the situation. I spend a lot of time away from people that cause my anxiety. So that's a lot of unfollowing, blocking, and not answering people's phone calls. <laughs> I try to surround my environment and set up my routine in ways that allow me to feel good and to focus on things that fill me up and fill me with joy and calm me down. And sometimes you need to take breaks. Just take breaks on people, take breaks on the things that you're stressing on, take breaks on working on your goals and stuff like that. But also reminding myself on my why like why I want the things that I want, why I want my life to change, why I'm doing the things that I'm doing, and um, going over my goals, looking at my dream board, writing down my goals, imagining my goals, dreaming, like sleeping and dreaming about them. It's a very thin line between being motivated and being completely anxious. anxious. I have a very hard time separating the two. I'm working on letting go my need for control. Just letting things and people be and just seeing what happens and embracing what happens. Most importantly, caring less. Caring less about people, caring less about life, just caring less and doing whatever the hell I want to do. So when people ask me, what are you doing now? What are you doing with your life now? I'm living it. I'm living my life and i don't care what you think about it i don't care if it matches what you have dreamed for me i'm doing what i need to do for me to be happy okay and you should too currently i'm not doing what my dream job is i'm not getting paid to do the things that i want to do and so we're not there yet in accomplishing our dream job and our dream life we're working and that's why being a dreamer is dreaming trying failing and starting over anyways so that is all thank you for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up i make videos on tuesdays and saturdays so click the bell next to the subscribe button for post notifications for more videos that's all okay bye